Hello everyone. Well, today was about as bullish as you can possibly get for the overall stock market. We'll start it off with the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ was up 1.14% today. I know these indexes came off the highs, but I would like to, you can't ignore the final hour action, even though it was weak. But overall, we didn't erase all the gains. It wasn't a huge reversal off the highs. So overall, excellent session to see NASDAQ have volume above average, especially on a holiday short week. Excellent to see New York Stock Exchange up 0.61%. As you can see here, another pocket pivot point signal. Count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in 10 sessions. Uh, damn, seems very bullish and seems like that this is the kind of setup that can lead to a parabolic move. So we'll see if that's in the cards for us now. But overall, just some excellent action. S&P 500 new highs, a 0.67%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average new highs. Just looks great. Barely finished closing at 17,000. And the Russell 2000 closed at 1205.95. We take off our full hedge, right? No. At one point intraday, it looked like it. Remember, we're looking for a close above 1208.65. The hedge is itty bitty. It's under a percent of the total portfolio now. So I don't feel like I have to cut it today just because it was up 1%. I'll wait for the 1208.65 level to be taken out. Then we'll get out of it. What do I have to cut? Well, iCloud reminds me a lot of, uh, about my ex. My ex was absolutely gorgeous, freaking brilliant, an incredibly amazing person. But bottom line is we're not compatible. Lifestyle's totally different, not compatible iCloud, clearly, we're not compatible, and it's time to break up. So I'm going to be 100% selling iCloud, despite it still being below the 638 intraday support level of a few sessions ago. The fact that it's closing below the 20-day moving average now for the first time since that move um, started, as you can see here, first time below the 20-day moving average, along with it losing max green bop slowly, one, two, three sessions in a row, um, and each session the bop getting progressively but very minor smaller and smaller and smaller away from max stream bop so since bop's going in the wrong direction and the stock's pulling back when the market's ripping goodbye totally out of iCloud so iClouds are only sell tonight that will leave us with very little cash to work with tomorrow however we do have three percent cash tonight and I'm gonna put it into Biogen but before I go over Biogen let's look at all the other possibilities just so you can have a selection if you're watching the video ONVO, Priceline, all of these are actionable. ALGN, not really, just wanted to really point it out. Red Hat, actionable. JCI, actionable. NVO, you can set buy stops just above this handle high. Um, TW Telecom, you can put a buy stop just above the handle high or the tight flag pattern high here. You got Netflix breaking out of that cup with handle on a gap up, so this morning was the buy on the buyable gap up. You have SIG producing another pocket pivot point signal. You have Solera following through on the move I posted yesterday. Posted the chart on Stock Twits. Remember, if you're not following me on Stock Twits, go for that. I post a lot of charts whenever I have downtime at home on Stock Twits. Just to post them, I guess. Why not? Subscribership isn't like it used to be. Might as well do a little bit of extra work, right? The Rouse Company, another one, possibility, pocket pivot point signal, and IDXX, another pocket pivot point signal possibility. There are many others, but bottom line is Biogen is my favorite tonight because look at all the pocket pivot point signals. We've had one, two, three, four, five, and now a sixth one in seven, eight sessions nine sessions so in nine sessions we've had six pocket pivot point signals it's breaking out of this deep handle this is not technically a cup with handle pattern this handle is too deep in the base I would like to see this midpoint be right about there I guess it is technically you know what technically it is a cup with handle but because of the way it came down on the left side here I would have liked to have seen it get back to its old highs and build one similar to ILMN this is a proper cup with handle to me so um, you know, sell G if you look at it. This was a proper cup with handle to me. The old highs were here, had the buyable gap up. Netflix is a proper cup with handle to me. So that's why BIIB looks like it's a little low, but overall it is, and it's still good. Breaking out of the handle high 
and six pocket pivot point signals in nine sessions. It's good to go. 5% if you have the capital available. 3% for me because that's all I have. All right, everyone, I doubt I'll make a video for Thursday. I will make a weekend video. Enjoy the upcoming 4th of July weekend. Is today not even Wednesday? What the hell am I talking about? Today's Tuesday, right? Never mind. I am one day ahead of myself like it happens around holidays. So we'll have one more full session, a full video. But Thursday is the half session. No video then. Weekend video at some point between Friday and Sunday.